faces of that combat crew, and among them is the young man to whom this day is one of precious remembrance and importance. Yes, that's rear gunner Corporal Williams, or Pee Wee as the boys call him. This is his day, but there were a lot of other days before this one, and it's worth telling about. It's quite a yarn. It all started where it started for most, right in that glass fishbowl. But what happened after that? Well, let's just track this story down. Maybe Pee Wee and a lot of other little fellows don't feel so important, but the gunnery schools are always on the lookout for men short on height, long on ambition. Morning, Pee Wee. Morning. You know, Pee Wee, you look like you'd kind of fit in the inside of that fishbowl. Well, I'd sure like to be in there, sir. I'd like to shoot a gun again, too, sir. Ever handled one before? Well, not one of these caliber 50s, no, sir. But I had an old shooting iron back home I used to like. I used to knock down them black killers with it. Black killers? What's all oh, them crows? We call them black killers. They're mean birds. They used to raid the duck nest. So I got so that I could peg them on the wings. Pretty good shot, huh? Well, not bad. Sergeant. Yes, sir? Take Pee Wee over to the skeet range. You might make a gunner. That's it. Okay, Williams. Let's go. Okay, Williams. Pull! Was that all I have to do, hit that little thing? That's all you have to do, so <laughs> Okay. Pull! Yes, sir. Wow. Pull! Oh! 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 All right. Well, that's good shooting. Six out of six. Williams! Sir. Billy, how'd you like to go to gunnery school? Oh, yes, sir. I like that spot. volunteered to come to this station to learn to become combat aerial gunners. Inasmuch as there are only 210 hours of available instruction time, it will be necessary for each and every one of you to thoroughly apply yourselves to make use of every moment while you are here. And they will be divided into small groups of six to ten men. Each group will have one instructor who will be your guide and teacher throughout the five weeks of this course. The job of the aerial gunner is a vital and important one. The lives of your combat crew and the success of a mission depend on your shooting ability. Your government is aware of the importance of flexible gunners in the victorious pursuit of this war. They know that the fire from your guns is the fire of freedom. Good luck, aim well, and shoot straight. The first thing you have to know about the caliber 30 machine gun is the nomenclature and the part functions of the gun. Now this is your accelerator. It's the timing device for all recoiling parts. This is your cocking lever, which is your fire control. This is your driving spring. Williams, you increase the sight base. What must you do to the diameter of the ring sight in order to keep the same miles per hour reference sight? Well, you... You have to increase the diameter? Very good. Questions and answers every day faster than bullets. This is a class in exterior ballistics. In other words, what happens to that bullet after it's fired? 
What are the five forces that affect the trajectory? Propellant charge? Uh, movement at a mount. Air resistance? Gravity and drift. Now remember, men, this is a 150 mile per hour ring sight only when used with an 8 inch sight base. As you know, the sight base, the distance from the gunner's eye, the ring sight. You got that? Pretty scientific stuff. And it's all in the first week. And there are a few other items our young gunners are learning, like bullet patterns and methods of fire. And toward the end of that first week, that itching trigger finger of Pee Wee's gets its first workout. This is what they've been waiting for. But we're still in the first week, and the boys aren't ready to start firing yet. Right now, they're merely getting acquainted with the operation of the turret. They're discovering how to turn on azimuth and zenith, and where that master gun switch is. That's some workout for gunners just a week old. But they're already getting the feel of that turret. And before you can say caliber 50, they'll be veterans. And what do you think? After two weeks of going to school, he finds himself on the BB range. But on the second week, the boys are formally introduced to Grandpa. There's one advantage that you men have. You've got a great gun in your hand to protect yourself. Now, don't forget that. Yes, sir, a gunner's best friend is his grandpa. Williams, how do you estimate the apparent speed of an enemy aircraft? By the time it takes to get from the center of the ring sight to the outer edge of the ring sight. That's right. What's the first thing you notice before fire? Identify the enemy aircraft. That's right. The red flag. That means there's firing going on. Berlin and Tokyo, beware. These young marksmen are picking up the art of rapid sight alignment and the proper handling of a gun. Whoa! No country club or millionaire shooting lodge offers a finer skeet range than this one of Uncle Sam, where gunners acquire the precision and practice of learning how to lead the target. Whoa! Gunners on wheels, trucking on down. This is the moving base range. And it's plenty tricky. A little surprise for the boys who thought they were getting to be expert shooters. With the truck rolling along in one direction and the targets flying out in a dozen different directions, well, just try it, Pee Wee. Not bad, Private Williams, not bad. Looks as if you're learning a few new twists by getting your lead behind the target. It's a gay day and a sweet song when these lads start heading out for actual firing on moving targets, assimilating combat shooting on the ground-to-ground -ground turrets. Am I going to clear? Huh? Yeah, you can hit it. Williams, you learn in construction of sights and relative speed how to estimate your lead. Here's your problem. Range from, uh... Out the front track is 200 yards. Speed of the target is 30 miles an hour. What's your lead? A quarter of an inch outside my inner ring. Okay. I track your target and fire on whistle. the kill, tabulating the score of each student. The bullets, dipped in different color lithographic paints, leave their mark on the canvas, thus enabling the instructor to see how many hits the gunner has scored. Hey, Pee Wee, get a load of my score there! Boy, if I'd had to go like that 50 caliber, just think of the amount of cupid dogs I could have knocked off of Coney Island. You can't win any cupids in the Air Force, Benny, but if you keep on shooting like this, we'll let you get a couple of jabs. Hey, stay some for the rest of us, Sarge. Not so fast there, gunner. More ground school and study and midnight oil. But all the better to shoot well. Sight harmonization. The adjustment, the sight, the gun. So the line of sight will intersect the trajectory of the projectile at the desired range.
mighty fancy word. The way the boys and girls are the scientific movie. Well, here it is, the beginning of the fourth week, and they're back on the range. But there's one difference. Up until now, the gunner has learned how to shoot under normal conditions. Now, however, on this malfunction range, he runs into trouble. He finds out what to do when things go wrong. Another precaution for the gunner's protection. Men, in each one of these guns, we have put broken parts or damaged rounds. You will learn to determine by the action of your gun just what the malfunction is. Now, remember this. The gunner in the air must be able to find the cause of a stoppage or jam with the greatest possible speed and without completely stripping his gun. Williams, charge your gun and fire. It won't be. What do you think's wrong? I don't know. Oh, the bell speed fall won't work. That's right. It needs a new spring. Williams? What type of aircraft is this? JU-87, B, German Stuka. Identifying characteristics? Uh, fixed landing gear. Negative, that he's wait. And, uh, from this side? Square fin in the offset cockpit. That's that. Yes, Pee Wee is far from that Kansas farm now. He's explored a labyrinth of technical and ballistic knowledge that makes the American aerial gunner the keenest in the world. Hey, Ben! Ben! Come here, get out! Look! What's with you? Well, I just got a letter from Lieutenant Ames. And he's holding us spot for this on a beach one info. No shit. He's putting you in a tail cave. Figures I kind of fit there. You know, that's about the best news I ever had. Hey, fellas, hurry up. It's 9 o'clock. We're due out on the range for night firing. No, this isn't the 4th of July. It's just shooting in the dark, learning the use of tracer bullets. And in case you didn't know, the object of tracer bullets is to give the gunner an idea of his accuracy and lead. Those gunners will tell you that this is fascinating stuff. Those bullets, by the way, are chemically treated so that they light up, giving the gunner a perfect preview of where his live bullets are. Gunners of the ground, farewell. Yes, it's the fifth and last week, and what a week. The gunner takes to the air, putting into practice everything he's learned during the past month. He's about to get a sniff of ozone at an altitude of 10,000 feet. You gonna harmonize and check, Pee-wee? Yes, Sarge. Properly mounted. Right? Yes. Well, I'm nervous, but not scared. Approaching the tow target, the gunner's aim is level. This is straight beam firing, and is the first step in air-to-air -air shooting. Don't store your gun. Get ready to fire when target comes into range. maneuvers become a little more elaborate. Learning relative speed firing, the plane dives for speed, and it's a keen-eyed marksman who can calculate his target with some neat and clean cross-under firing. Congratulations, William. Thank you. Yes, this is a golden moment, a moment of proud achievement when Pee Wee Williams, along with hundreds of other gunners, gets his diploma. This diploma is his passport into the vistas of victory. Welcome aboard, Pee-wee. Thanks, Pee -wee. the crew. The gunner Black, Lieutenant uh, Doyle. Hi, Pee-wee. Yes. Good night, Sergeant. Yes, how are you? Sure. This fish bowl is waiting for you. A one-room apartment just for you. Well, it looks like home. <laughs> All right, man, you take some men. Rick Pee-wee, a full-fledged, flexible gunner, becomes a part of America's fast, striking air force. And he joins the Valiant Flyers, heading for a place called Over There. Things happen thick and fast over there. Pee Wee got his first taste of combat under fire. One zero approaching from the left. Those weeks at gunnery school are flashing through his mind.
Mickey Lee's all yours. Then, on his very first mission... Did you get him, Pee-wee? Well, that ain't no clay pigeon burner. Only a few weeks in the Pacific, and Pee-wee and his brother gunners of the crew had a lot of notches in their belts. Notches for annihilating Nipponese planes. And then, one dawn, July 15th, the crew took off on a bombing mission. A particular mission of strategic importance. Pee-wee discovered that sitting out on the tail turret of a bomber is a great spot. Because you can always see the enemy before he sees you. And he also found out that the guy in the tail is protected by the finest all-steel armor plate in the world. They were ordered to attack an elusive Jap aircraft carrier. Once the target was sighted, every keen-eyed member of that crew swung into action. The pilots, bombardiers, the gunners of their stations. Well, they made it. Direct hits with those 600-pounders of TNT blowing up right in Hirohito's face. But then the real trouble started. Five zeros heading in and man your station.
proved how indispensable they are in achieving victory. Their importance to the Air Force can never be stressed too much. Our pilots fly the planes, our navigators tell them where to go, our bombardiers bomb their targets. Those same gunners are continuing every day to help blast the enemy from the sky. But you are the men who bring them home safe. You gunners are the modern knights of fire, the administrators of life and death, an integral part of the greatest all-American team. You and thousands of intrepid, valiant gunners of the Army Air Force. With this distinguished service medal, I wish you the best of luck. May God bless you all. Thank you.